Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be the series Panic on Amazon Prime Video. Let's get into it. Now, I've seen the trailer for these. Um, I've seen the trailer for this uh, series and it looked interesting. And they did a, a dynamic job on this series. Very. Um, a lot of twists and turns and it's uh you was able to binge it all the way through normally amazon give you like um some of their series they you know they give you a couple episodes and do a week to week and actually this was one of the series they should have did the week to week because it would have bought a lot of viewership and it would have kept uh people in tune so um nevertheless uh, it was good. Let's get into it. So, um, the basically the plot of the story is in this small town, seniors that graduate, there is a game that's being played, and the game that's being played is it has you doing certain challenges throughout. The summer and the final winner wins the pot now in this senior class that's just uh, graduating there was a previous season uh, previous senior class that two contestants died and they were both girlfriend and boyfriend and so the sheriff in the town with you know it's his two um, cops that work underneath him they're trying to figure out they know it's a game called panic and they're trying to figure out who's running the game and get all the clues and answers now right off the bat within the first two episodes i knew who was behind it it was just like the obvious but what happens is it's so many twists and turns throughout the the series that you second guess that that's who was behind everything so nevertheless let's get into the players so the star um main lead of the show of the series is olivia welch she plays as heather neal uh jessica sula plays as natalie the friend of heather ray nicholson plays as ray hall the bad boy of the bunch mike face plays as dodge mason the mysterious guy that comes to town. Cameron Jones plays as Bishop Marks. He's the best friend to Heather and Natalie. Bonnie um, Badilla, Anna McCarthy. She plays as uh, a farm woman who hires Heather for to work on her farm. She's mysterious too. Enrique uh, Morcio, Senio. Plays as Sheriff Cortez. Moore Kelly plays as Melanie Cortez. Um, let me see who was in here. You got Ty Williams plays as John Williams, which is um, underneath the sheriff. Let me see anybody else that's Cree. Walker on um, Babington plays as Luke Hall. He's the brother to Ray Hall. You have um, Ben Kane plays as George Moore, who is the judge, and his son is Bishop Marks. And um, Karina Carhu plays as Lily Neal, which is the sister of Heather Neal. And um, there's someone key that I'm missing here. I uh, you got Rachel B um, Bay Jones. She plays as um, Sherry Neal. You have um, Jordan Elsis plays as Tyler Young. He also is playing on the new series uh, Superman and Lois. Then you have um, Nancy McKeenan. She plays as 
the mother to uh, Dodge Mason and Nancy McKinnon plays on Facts of Life back in the day. So it's a it's a whole cast. I'm, it's one more person that I'm I'm seeing in my mind, but I'm not seeing um, the listing form. All right, so let's get into it. So, like I said, it was two um, students who passed away the year before. Students are still gonna play because you got a lot of um, students that's stuck in this town that want to get out of the town. So. Um, yeah, you got Lee Eddy, she plays as Sergeant Christine. And you had David W. Um, Thompson plays as uh, Daniel Diggins. So that's who I was um, missing on there. But, uh, so each castmate got their own thing going on. So Heather Neal, she's, she has a single mom. She, I mean, she had, yeah, she has a single mom with her little sister. They live in a trailer. Times is rough. Um, the mom is trying to do the best as the best she could do but her best is still affecting Heather. Heather just graduated. She's been working at this little place around town and she's been saving up all her money, like over $5,000. And she wants to leave the town so she won't get stuck. The mom is on drugs and living the life and takes the money because she needs a transmission. So that was a flag. You got um, Bishop Moore, who's the best friend to Heather and uh, Natalie. His dad is the judge, of course, a lot of pressure on him to be successful. And the dad is already paying his way through for college and, you know, he's living, he's not struggling at all. Um, so that's his story. You have Natalie, who's the best friend to Heather and Bishop. And her dad is the cop. She never met her mom. The mom left. It's a mystery about the mom. And she wants to become a... Um, actress out in Hollywood so that's her main plot and her plan to play the game Panic now this whole time Heather has been telling everybody like hey we shouldn't play this game it's you know it's childish it's dangerous people die and you'll find out how she ends, ends up in the game so um, you have Ray Hall his brother Luke Hall won the challenge a few years back so Ray is his turn to graduate, and he wants to. Um, but he's like the the um, the badass of the group, always getting into something, always straight rebel, breaking all the rules. And he become he comes off at first as a straight dickhead or whatever, but it turns by the end of the series or whatever. But in the beginning, he's a straight asshole and dickhead, and so. You have, um, who else I'm going over there, storylines. That's key. Dodge Mason. He was a loner. Moved to the town. And he's entering the challenge. But he has a motive. Or whatever. So you find out his motive. That his sister was hit. And she was paralyzed. She was used to um, ride horses and stuff. And she was real good. And his ambition is to win the challenge so that you know he could do something with the money to help his sister out so that was his motivation to play and so the first challenge is basically once you enroll in the challenge you got to go up to this tower this hill and jump off a cliff into the water and it's of course is rocks it's rocks that you can straight die if you don't land well so every all the challengers and are jumping off the cliff and dodge comes and he's the loner and he takes it up high and he jumps off higher up the higher you go you get more points now heather's motivation you know, she knocked this whole thing and nat she told natalie basically that she wasn't gonna come watch her and everything like that so she showed up the night of the challenge and pretty much entered the challenge and Natalie was pissed with that and she was upset and of course she showed up to the challenge but her motivation was because the mom just took her five thousand dollars and she felt like she was going to be stuck so that was her motivation to get gone so she pretty much came in and 
people like telling her like no you shouldn't do it because she like she basically was scared the whole time and so she went to the highest peak of the cliff she got a sign by seeing these uh, wildfire on uh, wild flies and she jumped off and she became lead of the challenge so these challenges go go on through the whole uh series and it keeps you in tune because you don't know who's what you don't know who's behind the challenges you don't know who's setting everything up there's a lot of deceit within the friends and you find out that natalie end up she's a judge she knows too much information she's a judge the whole time and uh you find out that ray he's really not a bad guy he just had a hard life and her and him and uh heather end up linking up and she thinks he's playing her but he really likes her do you have bishop bishop was running money for the challenge for the uh for the game he the one that was keeping the pot for the money and the money gets stolen by one of ray's um girls oh or whatever no my bad i said his half sister that's what she was she was his head she's sarah my bad sarah was his half sister and she she steals the money from bishop bishop is rich pretty much so he just sells his car or whatever and you find out that the main um lieutenant not lieutenant uh the main cop the sheriff he was behind it the whole time now the two kids that passed away was the sheriff's son and his girlfriend and the sheriff was behind on debt and he was in on the game pressing wages and stuff like that and part of the challenge that his son was in was Russian roulette and the son was supposed to have like a fake gun and pretty much the sheriff switched the gun and when the son thought he was gonna have a fake gun his son had really found out that his dad was behind it and so the sheriff switched the gun and the son ended up killing himself and so he made it look like the son committed suicide so I stop right here and say Anybody that's listening to this review, if you're a teenager, do not try to start this game up, man. It's it's dangerous. And it each episode it has that disclaimer. So, you know, cause you know kids do the darnest things or whatever. So let's get back to the story. You have Ann, who's a local resident who has a big farm and Heather was looking for work and Ann took to her brought her to the farm and she started making money with Ann and Ann's I mean Heather's mom and boyfriend was doing drugs and he screamed at the little the little sister Lily so Heather came in to save her little sister and pretty much approached the mom they were sniffing coke and he struck and hit uh, Heather and the mom just told her to go. So when she left, she went staying at a hotel. I mean, a motel, rather. And Ann offered them to live there. Now, according to Ann, she just was just in the farm by herself, lonely, being a good person. Needed some, seeing some people that needed help, and she's going to help them. Now, Ann has a damn tiger on her land. And... Heather finds out that once they she get ready to move in and Anne introduces her to the tiger and pretty much if you remember the Tiger King, she they kind of use that reference like saying she got the tiger from somebody that you know wasn't doing good with Tiger. She got her permit papers and everything. So she got the tiger and pretty much she feeds the tiger and you know had the tiger when the tiger was like twenty pounds. So she gave her all the rules about the tiger. And when she first arrived there, she told her, don't go past that fence. So she tells her to let her sister know, don't go past the fence either. So first night, she goes to stay there with Lily. And says, I got to leave. She takes the dogs. <laughs> and you already knew something was going to mess up. And so from there, 
Lily says, I want to do a sleepover at our friend's house, which is down the street from Ann. So, Heather gets the call and pretty much her sister and the kids is missing. And when she comes back to the house, she sees Lily's stuff is there. And, of course, kids do the darnest things. The kids is at the gate where the tiger is and Lily is in the cage. And so... Pretty much at that point, you know it was going to be some bull. So the tiger approached him and uh, Ann told him, if you run, if you incited the tiger, pretty much you you going, you you out of here. And pretty much you don't run because it shows that you pray. So she told Lily to stay there, but the tiger was still uh, coming forward. She fed the tiger, but the tiger just ate with she fed her and Lily was still there so when Lily got close enough the tiger started to charge and they hurry up and shut the gate but they didn't lock the gate or whatever so of course the tiger got loose so this a whole bunch of twists and turns like I said I'm just pretty much telling you the bulk of what every character what happened and it's a bunch of twists and turns and a lot of deceit and friendship being broke and at the end of this series, everybody pretty much went about their business. By default, they sent someone anonymously sent Heather the pot of the money. Now, like I said, the pot of the money was taken by Sarah, the half sister of Ray and Luke. So for Heather to receive the money, I think that money came from Bishop's when he sold his car. So I think that's where that money came from when he sold his car. So she had the money and Natalie, they made up because they was beefing. They made up and she basically said, how I feel to be rich. And then she had the money. She was writing her story. She was linking up with Ray. Everybody was going there separate ways, doing their things. And one night she was going to leave. And someone was traveling behind her on the highway in a truck. And when they got up near her, they threw something on her car. And it was the symbol of the game Panic. So basically the game still continues and going on. And it showed that the next Sarah, which is the half sister of Ray and Luke, it showed her she's gonna be a senior next year. And it showed her and her crew that was gonna be seniors, it showed them looking up where the sign for panic was showing like it's still in play. So you get to see on who's really still controlling the game of panic. And I think Anne had something to do with it because she was mysterious. She just popped up. And she was really being a men mentor to Heather, but she was just mysterious, asking questions. And you don't, when she left out of nowhere, you don't know where she went. And it makes it look like she's innocent, but I think Anne is the one that's really behind. Um, Anne and the judge got something to do with everything or whatever. So it was a definitely a decent series. Definitely tune in, watch it for yourself, it'll draw you in. If you have watched it, what is your conclusion? Who do you think is controlling the panic? If for anything I miss, feel free to comment, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.